Hey guys, welcome on back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Karina, also known as OMG Lashes. And if you're not new, welcome on back. Today's video is going to be a full face using $5 makeup, five and under. I've done a few videos like this. I've also done 10 and under. So I will have a playlist or cards throughout the video where you can watch them and go back and just look at the looks that I've done. I always like to recreate or create like really fun, colorful looks just to challenge myself and to really test out the products to see how good they are and today I played with some new makeup LA Colors and LA Girl mainly are the brands that we are sticking with today I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you get all comfy get cozy grab your cafecito and let's jump into today's five and under makeup look starting off with the base today's primer I am going to be using this wet and wild impossible primer it claims that it's silicone free but it really doesn't do much for my pores which is why i don't necessarily love it it does a good job at like making the skin feel pretty smooth and hydrated at the same time it's more of a gel based consistency all right so for a foundation i decided to go with one that i haven't used in what seems like forever this one is right under four or five dollars it is the black radiance color perfect liquid makeup it is an oil free foundation which is perfect for us oily skin people the shade that i'm in is butterscotch um the only thing that i have to say about this foundation it looks beautiful on the skin and black radiance is an uh, a black owned brand but i do notice that it oxidizes on the skin a lot so maybe try going like a shade lighter than what you normally would this has to be one of the best like five and under foundations that just look so pretty on the skin so for the concealer i'm going to take one of my absolute favorite affordable drugstore concealers that are full coverage the glamouflage pro full coverage concealer this one is in the shade sand i would love to know if you guys ever used like their original concealer which was thick it was so thick but at some point um it was one of my favorites too Next, we're going to set, and I have to use one of my favorite setting powders at the moment. This is by Alley Colors. It is the setting powder. It just says that it mattifies and sets makeup. I literally have two in my drawer because this powder is that good. It's like $3 at Dollar General. And apparently, and obviously I've hit pan on mine because I use it every single day. I do prefer to use this one with a brush. I just feel like it sets the skin a little bit nicer. This is a universal shade, which means anybody can use it, which is definitely a plus in my book. And it does mattify the skin. It makes it look super soft, super airbrush, and it sets the actual concealer really nicely. So for my bronzer, I'm going to use this one by Wet n Wild. It is from their Fantasy Makers collection. This one is called Dusk to Dawn. Oh my gosh, please Wet n Wild make this a permanent shade. It is absolutely beautiful. It is so good and I love the formula. So I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer and apply it in the areas where we normally apply the bronzer. Right here on my big old chayote. <laughs> I'm going to take that to the cheekbones as well, carve them out a little bit. I'm also going to take a really good blush that is so affordable. It is the e.l.f. Spiced Apple Blush and Highlighter Duo. They are really tiny. They're only $3 though, so you cannot go wrong. And this shade is stunning. So I'm going to pack it on to my brush and then I'm going to apply it back here and this just gives you the most beautiful flush to your cheeks it's so pretty i think if you're like really light skin this is just going to look amazing on you so let's move on to the last thing which is highlight for my highlight today i chose the believe beauty 
um, Champagne Kiss Radiant Finish Highlighter. Okay, I think I am ready to jump onto the eyeshadow palette. So actually, I had you guys vote on Instagram. If you're not following me, I will have my ads right here. But I try to be super, super active and I like to involve you guys in my future videos, ask you questions, do polls, fun stuff like that and I asked you to vote for which palette you wanted to see in today's video. LA Colors released some new eyeshadow palettes. They have here the Blueberry Blast, which is so beautiful. There's something about blue eyeshadows that I love. I have here Peach Fizz and this one is so pretty as well. And then we have here Lemon Drop, which is another gorgeous yellow toned palette and let me actually check on my instagram but i'm pretty sure that peach fizz won by like one percent or something like that let's see um so 368 of you voted yes for the lemon and then 369 voted for the peach is. so let's jump into the palette shall we and let's start off with the lightest shade in the palette which is this really pretty like a light pale orange and I'm gonna start off okay somebody told me that they found these at their local Dollar General for three dollars and fifty cents so run don't walk to your Dollar General to pick these up because wow I'm going to take a little bit of the next shade, this one. It's a little bit darker than the one we laid down. And I'm going to bring this one down lower. It's a little bit more neon. This is so pretty. This definitely is giving me some like Huda Beauty vibes, but for way less. And wow, this is pigmented. And it's not skipping on the eyes. It's super smooth it's gliding on and i'm gonna go within i'm gonna go with the last shade which is that red orange and that one's gonna go even closer to the lash line to make this look extra fun i am going to dig into the lemon drop palette and i'm gonna use that yellow shade and then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use a little brush i am going to Get it wet, and then I'm gonna go back to the peach fizz, and I'm gonna take this really nice, soft, pale yellow, and I'm gonna pop that into the corners. Whew. So for the waterline, I'm going to take this lip liner, but um, I'm just going to use it in the waterline. It's called Outrage. It's a really pretty, like watermelon red color it's so beautiful and this one is just from la girl not la colors these are about four dollars and some change so for lashes i couldn't find anything that was five dollars and under so i just used the new betty b lashes from walmart these are in the style extra and they're so pretty i really like these and they feel super lightweight for the lips like i said earlier la colors and la girl both released new nude lip liner so these are the three shades that i have from la colors so pretty right but then la girl released all of these nude lip liners oh i cannot make up my mind on what shade i want to use okay <laughs> i had to swatch a few of them to make up my mind but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go with the la girl shockwave nude lip liner in the shade gingerbread so let's line the lips and then as my actual lipstick i'm gonna take this one by wet and wild it is called never nude they are a little dry like a little bit they tug on the lips a little but for the price point and the color it's not bad so there is the lip combo i actually really really like that that lip liner is beautiful. We're going to just finish off by setting the skin with the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. This one's really good to make the skin look soft and just prolong the wear of your makeup. So I'm just going to hit the skin with this light mist. The mist is really good. 
All right, you guys, and here you have the final look. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I created this whole face using $5 makeup and under. This is so beautiful. The shades in the palette are absolutely stunning. <laughs> you guys can see Lani back there. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's full face using five and under makeup. If you guys wanna see more tutorials like these, I will have a playlist where I do 10 and under and Lani had a special announcement. Um, comment down below if you guys want a video of me doing my mom's makeup again. <laughs> She's been dying for me to film with her another, you know, tutorial with her doing my makeup. So if you guys want to see that, definitely let us know and we'll have her do my makeup. And she got in so much better, you guys. So it's going to be really good. So don't forget to comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for beauty videos every week. Last video, I said every day, <laughs> every week. So until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.